Hello everybody, I'm Kushan, and welcome back to Command Modern Air and Naval Operations, the Korean Missile Crisis. It's been a while, um, so let's go ahead and recap where we left off. I think it's been about a month now since I last played this. Um, so, in the last episode we had launched basically every strike aircraft we had available. So we've got our SU-34s, pullbacks right there. We've got some big, thir I guess, some big 31s. Um, I believe these guys were going to basically provide some sort of uh, air, uh, basically combat escort for our strike aircraft. We've got our fencers, SU-24, M2 fencer Ds with what amounts to basically general purpose. I, I think these were just basically general purpose bombs. Yeah. We have uh, more SU-24s with TV guided bombs, and we've got uh, general purpose bombs. So I believe the plan the last time was to use our bombers armed. Basically, I think the plan was uh, was to use our backfires armed with kitchen, AS-4 kitchens missiles. Um, use them to basically start t to basically attempt to take out some of the missile sites or radars and then use general purpose bombs I believe also against the, the SAM battalions that we actually had to take out and then to basically use our precision guided on precision-guided munitions on our targets. Um, and what are our targets? So over here we've got Defense Command HQ, south of Pyongyang. Pyongyang. I can pronounce that right. So we've got a couple of satellite command centers, which are hardened bunkers. Um, a satellite uplink railway, which is just a surface building. We can take that probably out with dump bombs or laser-guided bombs without the need to Anything heavy, we've got a power station over here we can take out some nuclear production site. And this is going to be our main target here. We've got a tunnel entrance, um, power station, nuclear power stations, um, a nuclear research center, which is a tunnel entrance. So I believe it is. Um, it's got light armor, 200 damage points, so we can take that out probably with either dump bombs or are guided um, and then we have an ammo bunker for the storage site which this is going to probably have to be a penetrator warhead yeah special armor 3200 damage but yeah we're probably going to want to drop a penetrator if we have any penetrators on that and then we also have a couple of tunnel entrances up here which are aircraft underground shelters but I think it's just for the blast doors basically we have to take out the blast doors for I'm uh, King ESC Production Center, and I believe we have a couple of our SU-24s in that, going in that direction, and then we're going to try and not mess around too much with anything down in this area, except we do have the Defense Command HQ we made. Yeah, and we've got, I guess that's where the Command Center is, so we're going to have to plan is to probably go for, first go for these targets up here, and there, and then we'll try and penetrate that sample. Kind of hoping we'll see a U.S. strike against those before I get to it, maybe to take out those SAMs, but we'll see. Um, and then for the most part, my plan is to more or less just ignore the um, ignore the air bases. At this point, I think most of the uh, DPRK Air Force has been neutralized. Most of, I think most of, well, we, we're still getting radars from, I think this, we haven't detected that radar in at least 36 minutes, so I think we've actually taken out most of these SAM radars. Not to say that they're harmless, but um, if we did take out their fire control, that will debank them somewhat. Oh, I'm sorry, we also have a nuclear fuel storage site up here at Chungisi. Um, probably butchering that name too. Um, that we can take out, which is an ammo bunker mountain, and then we also have the Sino 
pens, or Sinpo submarine pens, and the Maying Maying Do naval base. Um, so we can we probably what'll probably end up doing. See, those are yeah submarine pens, buildings. Um, what I'll probably go for is trying to take out some of the. Let's go. Is that actually? Let's get our site briefing. Um, Air Force on SAM system, CS300. window for both of those. Um, okay, so basically our is to cripple the nuclear program, so I'm going to assume that crippling that means at least damaging the naval base. Um, unfortunately, for at the moment, we have had no sign of the um, Nukedong missile. Um, our one Blinder bomber that had cameras on it, um, unfortunately met an unfortunate end by trying to go in low and fast, and Triple A took it out. Um, so we have another one that is inbound, um, and if we lose this one, then we are kind of screwed as far as trying to find that launcher. Um, so hopefully. other aircraft that might we've got some T-27s there. What I'm looking for is to see if by the uh, chance we had any fighters that may have had recon. Uh, it has been a while, so I think I already checked this, but it doesn't hurt to double check again. No, they accept the Krypton's. other blinder we are pretty much screwed on asset on recon assets with cameras um, let's just double check up here file 78 
problem with deploying that is if there is any triple A in the area, we are likely to lose that. Oh, they are on the ASW. Okay, they're on the ASW mission. Um, the problem is that we deploy those those bombers or the yeah that those recon aircraft in that search area. It's likely that AAA is going to shoot them down. Um, and that's really why I was holding bombers. I'm holding the black checks in reserve as I'm hoping I need to keep it probably one or two of these in reserve. Um, I will probably use the other one or two to strike the naval base and the submarine pens um, when the time comes. The rest of our strike aircraft are now heading over here towards the east. Um, and I'm wondering, does that make sense? Let me look at the cage. And I know I'm dithering again without actually hitting play here. Let's see, but I want to look at something. Cage 101, the warhead is... Okay, so it doesn't actually have... It's theoretically not a penetrator. Alright, well let's go ahead and play. Um, by the way, I have upgraded this to the current version 1.2 release candidate, which currently is build 936.2. Um, I don't think it'll actually update anything as far as the scenario is concerned, um, considering that this is, it's actually, this is being loaded from the save. Um, but one, in, uh, one um, huge change here that's actually in the patch is two second time compression. Up till now, I've actually been playing mainly on one second time compression. So this is going to be a, a big change for this playthrough. And let's just go ahead and hit start here. I think. And I'm just going to go ahead and turn off the music. There we go. Um, still no luck finding the submarine either, although we're still saying there was a contact over here about 50 minutes ago, but it could be anywhere. And we do have sono buoys, and they're not hearing anything. Um, and we do have... Submarine coming in at five knots, it's not hearing anything, so this we're going to step back over to my side window. Unfortunately, installing the uh, latest patch basically uh, reset all of my settings. Um, he's at the surface. Go ahead and have him go to flank and dive back down. All right. So everything is does seem to be getting to chug just a little bit. Um, have quite a few units here on the screen. Um, still getting uh, some rolls for the U.S. Um, I have moved the message log off to my other monitor as well, just to kind of clean up the view. Um, you know, there's been a couple of comments in chat. If it's a huge deal, I can I can move it back over, but I really would prefer to keep it off to the side. Um, so again, let me know what you guys think in the uh, in the chat or in the comment section. Um, all right, so he's actually in the landing queue. Here comes our blinder. So let's, I want him, basically he's at max altitude, and what's his, one thing I didn't look earlier, so his cameras are only 5 nautical miles, um, bomb sight, um, and actually something I forgot to do, and this may actually be the thing to do here, is to turn on his radar. He does have surface search radar. 
Um, so maybe if we can, let's, first thing we'll do, bring him kind of along the coast, that we finish clearing out the air. Um, what do we have as far as air threats? Um, only thing so far we are detecting is, these are probably MiG-21s, yeah, MiG-21s or MiG-23s. Um, we are pulling back our blinder. Um, don't actually sail over the enemy fleet. I'm going to pull the blinder back a little bit. Um, I don't want him getting too exposed, even though most of their air threat has been neutralized by this point. Um, I would prefer not to risk it. Um, so let's see. I wonder what this is out here. This may be like a Japanese strike, maybe? Are we getting a contact report now? Huh. Those are prob... That may be a U.S. strike. A lot of unknown subcontacts over here, too. Um, have our diesel over here go to flank. He is running on battery. Um... <coughs> You know what, I just have him run at periscope depth. That should, in theory, recharge his battery. Even though we are going to cavitate, I'm not, they don't have any ASW assets. And I'm not particularly worried about... Not particularly worried about... Um, the... Um, North Korean, any North Korean attack submarines. Um, oh, all right, so our MiG 31s over here have fired, presumably at this group of, or this MiG-21 over here or that group of MiG-21s looks like it's just one um, okay we need to make a choice here what do we got okay so I believe these guys over here were closing in on That right there. So I want to drop one bomb from each of these. Um, I was going to originally kind of bring them in up high, but, or bring them in low, but given that there's pretty much no air threat at this point, um, I'm just going to keep them flying high. They are carrying KAB-1500L-F laser-guided bombs. Um, these don't have a penetrator warhead, it looks like, but that's fine. Um, there's one of our backfires. More backfires. Okay, so Mainstay has detected a bogey. Looks like more fighter coming up from over here at... Changin up air base. Um, where is our blinder at? I know we just checked on it, but I think they're just descending. Still got 40 minutes of fuel, not worried about them crashing or anything. Um, our blinder is still a ways out. Um, what I should do is I'm going to launch one 
there's a minuses. I'm gonna launch. Um, did we already have an IL-20 airborne? We already had an IL-20 airborne. I may not actually have to launch another one. Um, you know, we had quite a few aircraft over here. There's our Blinder E. You know, I had a couple. There's, there's our mainstay. Um, doesn't look... All right. Um, oh, that's our ships as part of our submarine group. Um, all right, I am not seeing it. So let's go ahead and get this other IL-20 airborne. Um, recon, one thing I do want to look is what is his... So he's got does have a side-looking airborne radar. Um, ground search, fix search. So we're going to go ahead um, just because I think we are, again, I think we are really closing in on the um, on the launch window. Let's go ahead and get him airborne. Um, and then our blinder over here is his. His radars are on. This is side looking though. Surface search long range, surface search medium. Doesn't say doesn't say it's side side radar, so um, I don't think he does have any offensive in ECM, but go ahead and activate that. We are being jammed. So I think what's going on is we're actually being jammed by the Americans. Um, all right, so that MiG-21 is turning away from our AA-12. Come on. Do we have? I think we launched all of our MiG 23s already. Or I'm sorry, our MiG 31s. I think we've already la launched all of our MiG 31s. MiG 34 fullbacks, or SU 34 fullbacks. I know we've got plenty of SU 27s ready to go. Um. If we need it. I want to keep these guys, however, on standby. Um, I was just look, hoping to find something that could maybe used. Oh, we do have a flight of SU-27s already. April. We're going to just go ahead have, have them go ahead and orbit over northern North Korea. Well, close to the Chinese border. And we are going through Chinese airspace. Um, I had originally intended on staying out of it, but we're just going to violate Chinese airspace. We'll just pretend that they've given us overflight. Um, where are you guys going? What? Okay, I think... This is actually something that was left over from going group, unassign, group. Okay, so these guys should hopefully be now. All right, so oh, why won't it let me group them? Because they're already a group. Duh. Um, okay, so I think we've already. I think 
we have already fixed the issue that we were having with units returning to base. That should have been fixed in this last video in one of the hot fixes. But I just, or at least the, uh, um, one engagement with BVR. Yeah, we need to change this. I guess I just missed these guys. Um,. So now, so now these guys shouldn't, in theory. Um, all right, now these guys, in theory, should no longer return to base. All right, so we've dropped a couple of laser guided bombs. See, they are looking good. They probably won't miss. All right, looking good. Let's zoom out. I have a feeling that that launcher is somewhere over here. I mean, that's where we saw the triple A. So I, I just have a feeling that's where it's at. Um, our missile is closing down here on the. Right. All right, so that's one air threat neutralized. Um, these guys will circle. Bombs are looking good. And plenty more also on this flight if we need it. Ninety-five percent penetration achieved on our first hit. Only three percent on our second one. There is another two. Let's see how much. Um, Next one. Um, you guys are going to start. On a sign. Hey, guys, like, turn up here, please. I really am worried about that. AS-22 running out of energy. Um, I'm... I really hope that they're still actually painting that target for that. Um, I don't want them to get too far away. sure why they're not turning. Alright, we'll just let them do their thing down there. Um, it's entirely possible we've also already actually killed that. Um... Can 
thought we were dodging SA2 somewhere. Oh no, I'm sorry, we're just, I'm still getting message logs about Oh, secondary target is fired. Um still getting messages about US I really wish it wouldn't give you messages about other sides, like in the message log. I'm seeing a lot of stuff for basically the US and I would honestly prefer not to see it. Um, I don't think it makes sense that I should be seeing basically roles for um, a different side that I'm not even allied with. Um, so these guys have dropped their last two bombs on the production site. The la other... Uh-oh, hang on. All right, so I think we've identified a hostile sub. Okay, we actually have identified a hostile sub. We found it. Um, let's go and mark that as hostile. Um, nice. So I hope that's hostile anyway. If it's not, we're about to attack a neutral, and we don't know what it is. Um, but I'm just going to assume that out there, it's inside the patrol area. I hope that's hostile. I mean, it's in the right area. So I'm just going to go ahead and assume it's hostile. Hopefully it is. Um, actually, so oh, oh, we dropped. Something we can actually do here to check it is what's its feet. So it's at 131 feet. I'm pretty sure that is an SSBN. Um, if by default, I'm pretty sure SSBNs come in at about 131 feet, which is periscope depth, which would make sense. Oh, as I was saying, yeah, I'm pretty sure that that's an SSBN just because I'm pretty sure by default they come in at about 131 feet, or to, where I think um, by default I think um, attack subs come in a little deeper, or at least that's what I found when I was doing my um, cauldron um, and, um, hunting submarine. So, that's the case here. If not, we're about to really screw up royally. Um, hopefully that torpedoes in acquisition. Um, it missed. Crap. Alright, well, they'll probably drop another one here shortly on that target. Um, it's being hunted by... Um, at least two maze. Well, probably no more than that. We've got like three maze hunting that submarine with, I think. So yeah, we've got three maze hunting that submarine. The chances of it actually getting away are very slim to none at this point. Um, let's go back over here. I'm pretty sure those. We know that they took off. Those are hostile. <laughs> going on on the screen. We know that those are hostile as well. Alright, so missiles out. Let's go in back to hunt to checking on the sub. And torpedoes in the water coming in right off the beam. I mean, three knots. Yeah, I would ex... Well... 
you never know. Scenario crafters are sneaky, but are we picking up any more information about it? No. No omissions. Come on. Got it. Um, Goblin target destroyed. And it's not looking like that was actually a... I'm not getting... Goblin has been lost, so we have targeted it. But I'm not seeing that that was actually our target. But I'm also not seeing that anybody's actually hostile to us. South Korea is still friendly. The Americans are, you know, okay, so we do know where the American battle group is, because I'm pretty sure, oh, nope, that's the Azum Azumo. So... And the E2, which is on side US so we know so nobody's actually hostile to me so I'm kind of curious whose sub we just killed um that could easily that could also have been a um a DPRK attack sub I guess um cuz at least nobody else is showing up as hostile but hey at least we know where the the Japanese fleet is um Let's see, we're picking up a new Izumo, Murasami, which are basically their copies of the Charlie Burks, or I guess Murasami, that's DD-101. I think that is a, basically a Burke. Um, yeah, I mean, that's basically a, an Arlie Burke. I can't remember if the, I don't know if the Murasamis came before or after the... Otago, Congo, Congo, there's the Congo, DD-151, I'm pretty sure that these, the DD-101, I'm pretty sure that that actually came before the Congos, yeah, because there's, uh, may not have, because that's 151, but if we look at the Congos, that's 173, so yeah, it probably did come before, I don't know, anyways, uh, back to hunting submarines. Cause still not getting anything. Crap. Um, uh, let's see. So I'm pretty sure that has been destroyed. Um. At least I didn't get. A contact the second time so it may still actually be there um, but our two SU-24s are now RTB and we're going to ignore it let's see Second missile maneuvering. Yeah, we got some. Awesome. Um, and with that, that's been about 40 minutes. The video went on a little longer than I had expected, but um, I did kind of ramble on for about the first 15, 20 minutes of this. Um, so with that, I think I'm actually going to put a break in the recording here. And thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.